Hi guys, this is Wirehead King, and today I'm doing part three of my mountain making tutorial thing. Um, so yeah. Um, well, hang on. My doorbell has just gone, which means someone's gonna come in, and they're probably gonna interrupt this tutorial. So I'm just gonna pause it here. Uh, okay. So sorry about that interruption. Um, right. Um, yeah. So where was I? Uh, we're doing materials now, aren't we? Uh, so yeah, right, let's get into it then, um, so, well, uh, the materials, uh, we can do the sand first, in fact, I think we've already done the sand, haven't we, yeah, we have, oh, uh, one thing that we haven't done, though, with the sand is, we haven't made it, uh, repeat itself quite a lot of times, so we're just gonna set this to five and five and five, like that, and, um, it's just gonna make it look a lot more awesome, um, so yeah, that's that, really, for the sand materials, but the mountain materials are kind of interesting because we're going to be going into the node editor using a thing that Andy Grausig, that dude who's got an interesting name, I can't quite say it, uh, he did something and he put a little thing on his uh, blog, I think it was, that said that, uh, well, he just showed a, a method of making material slope dependent, which is really useful for this, so we can have the flat areas on the mountain get bits of sand and stuff, and the steeper areas have just rock where the sand just doesn't stay because, you know, it sort of just falls down rather than just sticks to it like glue. Um, so yeah, uh, right, so what we're going to do is select the mountain and the thingy where the origin is should be like, right in the centre. If you just like, flatten it, it would be right in the centre, right there. So I'm going to press Shift S, go to Cursor to Selected, so it's right in the middle of the mountain. And press Shift A, add lamp, choose sun. And then I'll move the sun above the mountain, not too high up, just about there. And, um, well, we're just going to leave it at that. Although we're going to press Ctrl G to put it into a group and call it uh, Material Splits. Like that. Okay. Or something like that. Um, Alright, so now we're going to select the mountain. Give it, uh, well, we've already, it's already got the material. Um, but, yeah, we're not actually going to do anything in this at the moment. Uh, we're just going to drag this thing out and turn this into the node editor, which is somewhere. Oh, there it is. Okay. And, um, if you choose, just tick use nodes, which is a little hidden away thing. You have to drag it out quite far to be able to get it. Uh, it's just this little use nodes box. Just tick it. And then everything's gone completely black because there is no material at all, it, if that makes sense. So this is the output. We're just going to tick new, and then this is just it's going to go back to normal here. Um, okay, and now we're just going to duplicate this twice. So I've got one here and one here. And now, uh, if we were to just select different uh, like versions of these, oh, we're going to have to like make them their own individual things by just clicking on the numbers that are right next to it that just shows how many they're linked to um, right so oh we're gonna want to name them now so this is gonna be sand uh, sand oh yeah I've already got material called sand so this is gonna be um, sand back M sand uh, this is gonna be M rock even though we don't really have a rock, you know, I just want to keep it within fashion, if that's the right word. Um, and this one's going to be called Splitter. Okay. Um, so now we've got them, and if we were to just select each one of these, then we're going to, so we can just sort of adjust them uh, in interesting ways. So with the Splitter, we just want to take away ambient from it. Um, and then with a light group, we can see down here, just choose the material split, and then just choose exclusive, and, um, well now, um, yeah, this lamp isn't going to actually emit light anywhere, apart from to this random node material that we've, whoop, this node material that we've got here, so that's good. Um, and that's, uh, it for this material here. Uh, make sure it was uh, so like be careful because you know you might accidentally select one of the others instead so yeah right so make sure that so that's splitter done now onto rock uh, we're just gonna give it a new texture uh, image or movie open um, go to desktop uh, well just go to wherever it is that it you've 
got it. Um, mountains, textures, uh, stone. Ooh, hang on, was it stone? Uh, yeah, it was stone. All right. And um, all right, so I don't want it to be all small and stuff. And it is a tiled texture, so it's seamless. So we can just make this as big as we want. I'm gonna make this ten by ten by ten because it's on the side of a mountain. In fact, I might even make it fifteen actually. So um, like that. Oh, and uh, coordinate. Oh, not not coordinate. Projection. We want to be cube because cube is quite good for shapes like these where it's all random and nasty. If, and if you don't know, like UV unwrap them and stuff. Oh, so this is going to be called uh, rock texture. Mountain rock. Oh yeah, the same method could be used for snowy mountains or something, just to put that out there. Um, right. Oh, and we're also going to untick specular there, and that's short for specularity. And you can see now we've got a nice rocky material there. Although it sort of just looks like a light brown because the material is repeating so many times, you can't really see the microscopic detail unless you zoom right in. Um, okay, so, uh, next is sand. We're just going to choose the sand material that we had earlier. Uh click this for uh, cuz yep to make it a separate thing and I'm going to call this mountain sand and uh make the size of it 10 by 10 by 10 and set the project projection to cube again and oops untick specularity okay um so yeah uh, oh god I just thought did I save well, I probably didn't oh well um okay so yeah uh, that should be it. Uh, now if we go to color, m not color RGB curves, color mix. Keep it at mix. Uh, so just press Shift A, color, and go to mix. Uh, then get the color from the sand. Put it into a, I don't know if it, no, if it's top or bottom. It needs to go into, but one of them. And then this into the other. And then if we were to just put that in there, you can sort of get a blend between the two. But we don't want that. We want them to sort of be. Uh, slope dependent. So this is where the awesome thing kicks in. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go uh, and add a converter, color ramp, and uh, put the color uh, from the splitter material into the factor of the color ramp, and then put out the color of the color ramp into the factor of the mix. And about halfway through is where I like to make the meats. Um, just bring them right, maybe a bit further than that, about there. Uh, just make them like get really close to each other so that there's not much of a fading thing. In fact, that's literally exactly the same spot, so that's fine. Um, okay, so now if we were to look at that, uh, hang on, what have we got? Specular. Uh, no, I right, untick specularity from this one, that's why I forgot to mention. And now, um, yeah, you've now got slope dependent materials, so that's lovely. Um, Alright, so that's it for the mountain. Uh, now it's time to edit the world settings. So um, this is where we're also going to give it a bit of fancy shading as well. Uh, so, with the uh, horizon colour, oh no, not the horizon colour, uh, don't worry about that stuff. Uh, for now, actually, we're just going to uh, hit the world option and then go over to textures, and now you're giving the world a texture. Um, we're going to give it a new texture, make it an image or movie, and this texture is going to be called Sky. Uh, open the um, uh, Sky texture that you like, which mine is here. Um, and then on tick blend, tick horizon, and that should be it. Go back to the world and tick paper sky, and that just makes it fit in like exactly how it should be uh, oh and choose environment lighting and then where it says white just choose sky texture so now we're going to have this really nice um, uh, I don't know my brother's just making some really weird noises and I can't quite uh, concentrate um, so yeah um, yeah it's going to just make some nice shadows and I think that's it for the lighting and materials and stuff so Onto the rendering. Yep, so thanks for watching. This has been Wirehead King. Uh, doing my mountain tutorial. So comment, rate, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, visit my website. And yeah, all that stuff you can do is in the description. So yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye. <coughs>